All right, guys, in the car again. Actually, I have not taken this car out much. I think the blurbs that you're seeing in this vlog, and I'm not sure which ones are gonna go in it, uh, are just the only times I've been in this car for the last two weeks, because this, this vlog may have about two weeks worth of stuff, I'm not sure. Anyway, welcome guys, welcome to a Sunday vlog. I hope I put it in some kind of order that makes sense. Not a lot going on this week. Um, the vlog that you saw last week was the last big hoo hoorah of my, um, <laughs> my energy level, basically. So I, I really, oh well, actually, I did get around to do, hold on guys. I did get around to weed the side of the house that I was hoping I could get to that day. <clears throat> I did manage that. I planned on doing a lot more that day. Did not happen. I still think I was recovering from when I did the front little bit in the front yard. But I did do that side, weeded, raked, and um, cleaned up. Anyway, I am on my way to Rite Aid picking up a lot of medication because he ran out of everything pretty close to kind of all at once. Some of them I put off. He hasn't run out of it, but anyway, it makes it easier if I can pick up as many as I can at one time rather than making a million different trips. It wants to be a nice day today. It's really wanting to, but it, I mean, we have little blips, little, little kind of teasers here of some sun. It's been very gray, it's been chilly. I've got my winter coat on, not my raincoat, but my winter coat. Yeah, here we are, it's almost June. Historically here, it's kind of a running joke. Historically, the weather will start and will flip, just flip, overnight almost, after Memorial Day. So this is the Sunday before Memorial Day. Tomorrow's Monday, it's Memorial Day. And uh, it just seems to be the way it is. And it's so funny, we've never been campers. I've never liked camping. Camping is not my thing at all. <laughs> but um, those, a lot of people around here are campers. And I think a lot of young fa families move to the Pacific Northwest when, because they're into the outdoors and they're into camping. So, and it's so funny because generally the weekend, like now, of Memorial Day, that's when they all camp. It's very big, you know, to go camping this weekend. And it's always rainy, it's always pretty crappy. And then after Memorial Day, when they're all home and headed back to work, is when the weather is like gorgeous and it's just beautiful for camping. And it just historically seems to be that way. I don't know why. So I'm hoping since, you know, tomorrow is Memorial Day that uh, the weather will decide it wants to truly be spring. I've been really dying to go to this nursery, this flower nursery. It's, I've, I've missed it so much since we moved away from this area. And it just was, a, it's just like signifies spring, the change of the seasons, everybody. He loves to browse over there. They have outdoor stuff. It's, you know, it's for really landscaping and they have everything that has to do with that. Flowers, shrubs, trees, fruit trees, roses, you name it. But they also have a really cool inside area that you can browse around. And of course they have all the fertilizers and everything you can imagine there as well. Potting soils, stuff. I've been dying to go there, but I want to save it for a really pretty spring day because that's what I associate it with. <laughs> and I thought about taking the Lexus, the, my SUV, today instead because I've been dying to get two hanging baskets to put on each side of our garage because there's already hooks there for them. And I just have been dying to do that. I could stick them in the back of the trunk if I were to decide to do that. But I'm just dying to browse, you know, kind of get in the mood for spring and 
it's just kind of an uplifting thing to do. But I don't I don't think I'm going to do that today. Also, <laughs> also I wanted to thank you guys for congratulating me on my new car. I never know, you know, how to go about sharing something like that because I never want to come across as showboating or anything like that. Those of you who know me know that I've always loved cars since I was a small, small child. And I even told a story, you know, that relates to that, being a small child and being enamored with nice cars, cool cars, and you know, I mean, pre-kindergarten. So I've just, it's never been a status thing for me at all. I just love cars. I just always have. I'm gonna go ahead and go on this right here line. Anyway, thank you. Uh, I It is exciting and it does give me, I get excited knowing that I have to go do an errand now. <laughs> it's like, ooh, I, I, get to, I get to drive my car now. And uh, so that's nice, you know. You know who else has really nice floral, like hanging plants and plants in general is Hagen's, uh, our grocery store over here. Geez, you know, I might go check them out. I want to get a couple potted flowered, flowery plants to put in the little green plant basket holder thing. My wire sort of decorative thing I have on my porch. I do want to stick a couple plants in there. And again, I'd like to get a couple for each side of my garage. I have big plants for in the back, but honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna get to that this year. Well, it will have to be, the yard has to be cleaned or it's gonna be so ridiculous. But as for like, I don't know, in my head, I have a vision of what I want our deck to look like. And I know it's gonna take a few seasons for it to actually get there. You know, I can't, I don't have the, the wherewithal to get it all in one ex time, but I do have a vision. We, d we already have a ton of outdoor furniture and I made sure to take it all with us because it was left at the house that we moved from. So took it all with us here. So we have plenty of deck furniture, plenty of deck furniture. So I want to thank you guys so much for telling me about the other YouTube channel who is, it's, it's a decorative, sort of a decor sort of channel, but her husband also has Lewy body dementia. And so she has a playlist in amongst all of her decor videos about that. So I binge watched not truly all at once, um, but I did end up over time watching all of those. And I want to thank you guys because although the circumstances are very different um, and all of that, it still is incredibly helpful. I mean, I think he was having a symptom that I would never have related to this that my husband has been having for a long time. And it's like, oh, wow. Um, even, you know, we would, it, it's just, it helps to put the pieces together in a way that, although it's it's not a great thing, you know, but still it, it does help a lot. So, and then hearing her struggle with a lot of it is also incredibly, it's, it's very helpful. I'll continue to talk about this actually when I get back. I'm going to go get what I need out of Rite Aid and I will be back. They're, they never have the, very seldom, I won't say never, very seldom do they have the actual prescriptions available and ready to go when, like, you know how you automate, you, you call and it's like an automated thing to fill your prescriptions and you put in the prescription number, yada, yada. And then it says, would you like to pick it up today? And it's like, yes. Well, this time it was late. So it says, would you like to pick it up the, the next day? And I'm like, yes, yes, I would. And then uh, they're like, okay, it'll be ready after say 2 p.m. the next day. 
great. I didn't go yesterday, which would have been the next day because I know better, but I didn't go yesterday, but technically it was supposed to be done yesterday. So I went in today. It's, uh, what time is it? It's 1.03, thinking it should definitely be ready. It was supposed to be ready yesterday. No, was, none of them were ready. So now I did know that two of them were, and we're waiting on a call back from the doctor and it's Sunday. So, and it was late Friday when I put it in. Anyway, they got it together very quickly though. So that's good. I was like, oh my God, am I gonna have to wait two hours? I did get shampoo. I'm debating. I don't think I'm gonna do home goods. I think the reason why I find myself not into it so much, even though I love home goods in general, is because I, 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 I don't really need anything, you know? I don't wanna get any more knickknacks and stuff like that. So if I need some, or I'm looking for something very specific, then it's a lot of fun because I know what I'm looking for and you know, I generally find it if I'm going to home goods. But I really don't need anything right now. So I don't think I'll do that. However, I am pondering going to Hagen's, the grocery store, not to go grocery shopping. <laughs> no, you guys are crazy. What are you talking about? You know I don't like grocery shopping. But to look at their flowers that they have outside before you even go in. Do I want to do that though? <sighs> no, I don't know. Anyway, let me just head home. I'm just gonna let me, like you guys are gonna twist my arm. No, Jill, we want to go to Home Goods. <laughs> Dang it, I do kind of want to go to Hagen's. I guess we'll find out when that happens. And if I pass it up, I pass it up. Anyway, guys, I have been enjoying, it's um, A Charming Abode is the name of the channel, and I have been, so I, of course I went there first to check out all of those videos with her husband, did that. I might have a couple more that I haven't quite watched yet, but then I started really getting sucked into her channel in general. Um, and her personality and just her bubbly self um, and we watched a, just really have been enjoying her channel I've been watching her clean up her her project ones uh, her decorating her and I seem to have very similar taste uh, her home looks absolutely gorgeous oh my gosh inside and out uh, and just seems like just a genuinely kind, sweet person. So I have been enjoying her channel. So I want to thank you guys so much for directing me to her channel. I did write a little, a, probably a way too long winded comment on, I think under one of her videos or possibly something she posted on her community page. And I know she's a very busy lady and um, all of that, but I just wanted to leave her a comment and let her know that I'm enjoying her. I have not been so enthralled with the channel in a long, long time on YouTube, so, and, and I'm just thoroughly enjoying her content. So, yeah, I want to let you guys know. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. The sun is going away. Clouds are getting bigger and the blue skies, while still there in some parts, are getting smaller. Here's where I would turn up here if I were to want to go to Hagen's. Here's Home Goods across the street, and that's where Pier One used to be. They went out of business. And I I think COVID is what toppled them finally, but I think they were hurting after home goods came in across the street. It's like, personally, I would go to Pier 1 and get inspiration and then buy something very similar, much less expensive across the street at home goods. And I think a lot of people did that. So along with that, and then COVID just wiped them out. They aren't here anymore. I do miss it though. I, I do miss Pier 1. I would just have to wait for sales, you know. I just turned into Hagen without even thinking about it. So I literally 
let I did not realize I was gonna do that it's a little scary but I'm here so I'm gonna I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna check out their flowers and stuff that's funny I had made up my mind apparently without my mind telling me that great oh yeah see they do have pretty stuff out here guys so I am gonna park on this aisle and yes I've been doing that annoying thing when you get a new car you park away from everybody <laughs> I know I'm gonna get that first ding but I'm putting it off as long as I can all right let's go look at some of these flowers over here Those hanging baskets were absolutely gorgeous, but they were $45 a piece. And uh, I would have to have two of them. And I just didn't feel like spending that today. So, you know, the fact that I have a new car and all, <laughs> kind of have to watch my P's and Q's a little bit. But, um, yeah, they were still very, very pretty. I looked at the other flowers and stuff, but, uh, well, that, that was fun. I just kind of, I didn't even go in the store. My uh, husband would be really upset at me. You didn't go in the store? I needed this, 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 and this. It's like, gosh darn it, you know I don't like going grocery shopping. So I'm not going to mention that I actually went to Hagen's to my husband and didn't go inside the store. It's about one, not about, it's exactly 118. When I get home, I'm probably going to have my second cup of coffee. I need to fold a load of laundry. I washed my husband's clothes, so I'm going to fold a load of laundry. It's in the dryer. I probably will wash my clothes because I my I can't squeeze any more in my laundry basket, my dirty clothes basket. So that's happening. I'm going to strip my bed, wash everything, sheets, comforter, coverlet. I've always got to check my when you're going faster because you're so close to the ground in a car like this? No. I have no idea I'm going the speed I am. One day, we may be vlogging and I may get pulled over by a policeman. Don't want that day to come. brakes on this car you guys are so smooth this car drives cr crazy good <clears throat> the handling of this car is insane I mean really good so you have modes in this car you can you can put the handling and the steering they're like two separate things in these different modes. I have them on sport. So my steering is a little tighter. Probably would have a little smoother ride if I took it out of the sport mode with that one, but I have everything in sport mode. I need to experiment because I want to, my, my son did experiment with that when he drove it. He kind of flipped in and out and was trying things out. And there is a difference with the modes. Um, but the handling on this car, you guys, so good when you're going in turns there's not hardly any if any body roll um, it's so grounded it's got kind of a wide sort of base you know so you feel very grounded you don't feel like your back end you know if it were just full-on rear wheel you don't feel unsafe there's nothing you just feel so connected to the road 
I love. Again, I haven't driven it all that much, but I, I've driven a lot of different kinds of cars and I am loving this car so, so much. I really am. The cool thing about this car, one of the cool things, is that while it is all wheel drive, it's it mostly operates on rear wheel until you are taking turns or it needs to be more grounded or if it say it's raining, it's, it's excellent for rain and that's the Pacific Northwest right there. I don't know why this car in front of me is going so slow. But um, what it does within milliseconds, it will take half of the power and shoot it to the front wheels. So you always are, you just feel very, very connected. Yeah, I am thoroughly enjoying this car. I, I, I feel like I made a really good choice and that feels great. Laundry, gonna do that. Fold my husband's clothes, get my laundry going, strip my bed, and what I was getting to regarding the dogs, which I got sidetracked, is them being really wet and then they'll come in and jump on my bed. I feel like my bed is uh, <laughs> smelling like a wet dog. So, it's kind of why I got a coverlet. I can go a ways before I have to wash my actual sort of down my actual comforter I can wait a little longer for that but it needs it now I haven't washed it the last time I did my bedding I didn't wash my cover I mean my um, comforter so I am definitely gonna do that this time nothing better than getting into a nice clean bed huh having your sheets all clean and smelling good it's a I love that All right, guys, I will see you a little later. Before I start folding laundry and whatnot, I'm gonna sit here and drink this. Well, hello there. Look what we have here. Did you want some of this? Yeah, you want some of this? You're Loki. Oh, 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 Loki, he, oh, hun, he just took your treat. Oh, well, here. You just lost it, baby boy. That's okay, here, you can have some more. You just lost your treat, baby. I know. He lost his treat. I mean, oh, I feel, I feel totally responsible. Oh, don't worry, guys, Loki will get another treat. <laughs>
yeah, I'm just, I'm just holding my phone. I'm so sorry if you are seeing some shaking. I did not do my laundry, nor did I strip the bed to wash. That's not happening. You're hearing Loki in the background being Loki. So weird, but I love him. I decided, you know, I think I'm going to do a little editing. That's what I'm going to do. So I am in my bed. My back is really killing me. I'm thinking about maybe taking some Tylenol or some Motrin or something. I've seldom, very seldom do I do that. I'm going to drink some more water. Um, that helps, I think, everything, and I tend to not do that so well. So I have my big thing of water here that I need to refill. And yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to sit here and do some editing. So maybe, because now I'm on YouTube and anything can happen. <laughs> I actually have to go to Kohl's, which isn't too far away. I think it's about seven minutes, it says. And I bought this off Amazon uh, because I cannot stand the audio when I vlog. I'm just relying on the phone's audio and it's horrible and I just can't stand it and you know that I do pay a lot of attention to how my my channel sounds and whatnot so <laughs> I have I, I tried to take steps to make that better and I ended up ordering the wrong one I didn't get a transmitter that will work with my phone they had several different options and I didn't realize that so I ordered the wrong one. Normally I'm terrible at returning things, but this was over $200, so you can bet I'm gonna be returning that. So one of the options is I can return it to our local Kohl's, which is very, very close. So that is what we're gonna do. Oh dear, my son. Let's see if I can get around him. Okay, our driveway is really weird. It, it's, it's got these weird angles, so it's actually more challenging to back up and maneuver than it looks. Okay, guys. So I'm wearing, this is a brand new wig for me. This is Kelly. <laughs> I might do a little browsing at Kohl's. I have not been in there in, man, it has to be over a year, maybe even two. So I don't know. I might, I might do a quick kind of walk around. First I'll return this and then I'll, oh, maybe I'll do that. Oh my God. This is really close, you guys. This is just a blip, just a blip where, <laughs> distance wise from where we live. Wow, okay. Yeah. We're here already. You've entered the parking lot for your destination. Indeed I have. I ended up putting this mount on low, kind of in the middle low part of my front windshield here. I was very paranoid about doing that, but the other option is you mount it right on your dash, which is what I did with my my other one. Uh, didn't want to do that with this car, so. But the sticky stuff, you can get that off glass a lot easier than you can off of a leather dash. So, um, okay, I'm gonna park next to this Corvette. I'm thinking they might be very careful when they open their door. <laughs> oh my, that's nice. Okay guys, I'm gonna go into Kohl's, probably browse a little bit. All right, so, returned it. They make it very, very easy. just 
I'm just, I'm learning kind of my car still. Um, so I'm just not real sure where everything is quite yet. It's not second nature. But boy, oh boy, is Cole's ever close. I knew it was close, but I didn't realize it was this close. Well, I, as mentioned earlier, I did browse a little at Kohl's, not a lot because my back was screaming at me, um, but I ended up getting some new pajamas. That's my weak spot. Honestly, I have so many pajamas. I need to go through them because some of them I just don't fit anymore. Some of them I need to just get rid of, but I do. I have a lot of pajamas. Nothing's better. I mean, is there anything better than taking your clothes and taking your bra off and getting in to comfy, soft pajamas. I don't know. There's just nothing like it. They're so hard to get out of though, aren't they? The next day, <laughs> you just want to stay in them all day. So I did get uh, some new pajamas. Okay guys, we are home. Thank you for coming with me.